I'm Jim Goodman. I'm responsible for FiberLite training, and this training program will cover the installation instructions for our FiberLite FL Series manhole covers. This installation training and the accompanying certification is good for any FiberLite FL Series manhole covers or multi-port covers, including the FL100 Series, the FL90 Series, and any smaller diameter covers as well. Recommended installation practices. Follow all appropriate health and safety requirements and use appropriate PPE as required. These instructions will include the following symbols shown below when PPE is required. When cutting fiberglass skirts, use cutting tools that are designed for use on fiberglass or composites. Failure to use appropriate cutting tools or blades may damage the fiberglass frame or skirt. Store all adhesives used during the installation process in a warm and dry location until just prior to use. The internal temperature of all adhesives used during installation should be between 60 and 70 degrees at the time they are used. Surface preparation is critical for the application of adhesives. Any fiberglass surfaces that will be bonded will require that the sanding sufficiently exposes the surface fibers. Use acetone and clean rags to clean any prepared surface. Failure to clean surfaces prior to bonding may result in a poor joint. It is important to note that skirts should overlap the top of the sump or top hat by a minimum of 2 inches to allow for proper clearance. If the 12 inch skirt provided does not properly overlap the tank sump top or top hat, then an 18 inch skirt should be used. Skirts can be trimmed if they are too long and interfere with the tank sump or tank sump top hat. If the fiberglass skirts have not been factory installed, they will need to be field installed. The fiberglass skirts are designed to fit into a channel that is located on the underside of the fiberglass manhole cover frame. Each skirt should be shipped with one tube of caulking sealant. Turn the frame upside down and lightly sand the channel on the underside of the frame. After sanding, clean the channel using acetone and a clean rag. Using a caulking gun, apply the supplied adhesive sealant into the channel on the underside of the frame, filling it to approximately half the depth of the channel. Each fiberglass skirt has one side that will fit into the channel on the underside of the frame. Sand the edge of the skirt that will be fitted into the frame and clean with acetone. Press the skirt into the channel until it fully seats. Apply a second bead of sealant around the outer edge of the skirt where it touches the frame and seam the sealant so that it is smooth. Allow 12 hours for the sealant to fully cure before placing any stress on the skirt or frame. Once the skirt has been bonded to the frame, set the skirt and frame assembly onto the pea gravel or fixture with wood or styrofoam blocks if required so that the top edge of the frame is set at finished manhole grade level, typically one inch above tank pad grade level. The diagram below shows proper installation dimensions for pouring the concrete tank pad. Fiberlate requires a minimum eight inch thick concrete tank pad. It is important that the underside of the frame be adequately supported by concrete. If pouring concrete during cold weather, it is very important to properly agitate it so that it flows under the supporting edges of the frames, as shown in this drawing. In addition, concrete should be poured so that it is flush with the top edge of the frame. Do not set frames above the concrete tank pad. The photograph shown below shows a properly installed FiberLite FL Series frame and manhole cover. As seen on the left hand side, the concrete is flush with the top edge of the frame. As shown at the bottom, the concrete has been properly sloped away from the top edge of the frame. In addition, as shown at the top, the concrete has been carefully detailed around the outer radius of the frame. This is a very nice installation. In contrast, the photos shown below show bad installations that are not acceptable. In the photograph to the left, the concrete has not been cleaned off the frame. This will eventually damage both the cover and the gasket that is installed on the cover. In the photograph shown to the right, the FiberLite frame has been set above the concrete tank pad. This is a big mistake as it will expose it to vehicular impact and will eventually cause the destruction of the frame. It is important to handle covers properly while they are on the construction site. Most importantly, do not roll covers on their edges when moving them across the tank pad. Rolling covers on their edges will damage the gaskets and potentially the cover itself. Such damage will not be covered under warranty. Prior to installing the FL Series cover into the newly installed frame, it is important to first clean the frame using spray lithium grease. This is available at any auto supply store. Wipe the frame clean with a rag so that the frame is clean, lubricated, and free of debris or dried concrete prior to installing the cover. 
To install the cover, use the FL7A lifting handle to slide the cover into the frame until it seats. Step on top of the cover until it seats fully down into the frame. The cover will seat fully if the frame has been properly cleaned and lubricated prior to installing the cover.